Chapter 11 Speed, Distance and Time Speed, Distance and Time Suppose Shubham reached school late because the driver was driving the bus at a very low speed. When Tom came back home, he said to his father, Papa, I had a narrow escape because a car coming behind me was at a great speed and it almost knocked me down. In both these examples, the word speed has been used. Now we will try to understand what does the term speed mean in mathematics. Speed. In mathematics, speed is defined as the distance covered by an object per unit time. Speed, s, is equal to distance travelled, d, divided by time taken, t. Units of measurement of speed. Like all other quantities, speed also requires a unit of measurement. If the distance is in kilometers and the time is in hours, then the unit of measurement of speed is kilometer per hour or km oblique h. For example, if a car travels 120 km in 2 hours, then its speed is equal to 120 upon 2 is equal to 60 km per hour. Similarly, if the length is in meters and the time is in minutes, then the unit of measurement of speed is meter per minute or meter per minute. Average speed. Do you know what is an average speed? Yes, let me explain you. Average speed S is equal to total distance travelled divided by total time. Example 1. A deluxe bus covers a distance of 324 km between New Delhi and Jaipur in 6 hours. Let's find its average speed. As we know, average speed S is equal to total distance travelled divided by total time is equal to 324 divided by 6 hours is equal to 54 km per hour. Example 2. Find the speed and average speed of a train which leaves New Delhi at 8 pm and reaches Jammu next day at 8 am. The distance between the two stations is 648 km and the total time for stoppage is 2 hours between these stations. Total time taken is equal to 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. is equal to 12 hours. Time for stoppage is equal to 2 hours. Actual time taken is equal to 12 hours minus 2 hours is equal to 10 hours. Speed is equal to total distance divided by actual time taken is equal to 648 divided by 10 km per hour is equal to 64.8 km per hour. Average speed including stoppage time is equal to total distance divided by total time taken is equal to 648 divided by 12 is equal to 54 km per hour. Expressing speed in different units. Do you know how to express speed in different units? Yes, I will explain you. It is often required to express speed in terms of smaller units like meter per minute or meter per second. For this, we remember the following conversions. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes or 1 minute is equal to 1 by 60 hours. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter or 1 meter is equal to 1 by 1000 kilometer. 1 minute is equal to 60 second or 1 second is equal to 1 by 60 minute. To find speed when distance and time are given. Well, how do we find speed when distance and time are given? To find speed, we use formula. Speed is equal to distance by time. The speed of a train is 60 km per hour. Let's find its speed in meters per second. 1 km is equal to 1000 meters. Therefore, 60 km is equal to 60 multiplied by 1000 meters. 1 hour is equal to 60 minute is equal to 60 multiplied by 60 seconds is equal to 3600 second. Speed is equal to distance divided by time is equal to 60 multiplied by 1000 divided by 3600 is equal to 50 divided by 3 meter per second is equal to 16 2 by 3 meter per second. Example 2. 
A car travels at a speed of 25 meter per second. Let's find its speed in kilometer per hour. Distance traveled in one second is equal to 25 meter. Distance traveled in one hour is equal to 25 multiplied by 3000 and 600 meter. Since one hour is equal to 3600 second. One meter is equal to 1 by 1000 kilometer. Speed is equal to 25 multiplied by 3600 divided by 1000 is equal to 90 kilometer per hour. To find distance when speed and time are given. Do you know how we can find the distance when speed and time are given? Yes, to find the distance we use the formula. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. The unit of time in speed should be the same as that of the given time. For example, let's find out how much distance will be covered in 5 hours at a speed of 50 km per hour. Distance covered in 1 hour is equal to 50 km. Distance covered in 5 hours is equal to 50 multiplied by 5 is equal to 250 km. Example 2. Let's find out how much distance will be covered in 1 1 by 2 R at a speed of 30 meter per minute. 1 1 by 2 hours is equal to 60 plus 30 is equal to 90 minutes. Distance covered in 1 minute is equal to 30 meters. Distance covered in 90 minutes is equal to 30 multiplied by 90 is equal to 2700 meter is equal to 2700 divided by 1000 km is equal to 2.7 km. To find time when distance and speed are given. How can we find time when distance and speed are given? It's very easy. To find the time taken, we use the formula. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. Example 1. Let's find out how much time will be taken to cover a distance of 250 km at a speed of 50 km per hour. Time taken to cover 50 km is equal to 1 hour. Time taken to cover 1 km is equal to 1 by 50 hours. Time taken to cover 250 km is equal to 1 by 50 multiplied by 250 is equal to 5 hours. Example 2. Let's find out how much time will be taken to cover 10 meter at a speed of 10 centimeter per second. Time taken to cover 10 centimeter is equal to 1 second. Time taken to cover 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 10 second. Since 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, therefore 10 meter is equal to 1000 centimeter. Time taken to cover 10 meter is equal to 1 by 10 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 100 seconds.